so that was an interesting video now that was actually a great example of a uh, sound design now there are particular aspects of that video that we'll want to break down right and in order to break it down we are gonna use this Fit Film Express. Um, it's an alternative to using the Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects. It's totally free and it has all of the features or most of them that um, the Adobe Suite has, right? So you can still follow along in Adobe Suite if you would like, but um, based on our current scenario, this is available for free download and a free license. Now, before we get into creating our own video production, right? We're going to use this software to just explore what make what made that ad so great, right? So, we're going to open a new composition and we're going to look for the um, for those videos, right? So, if you look on your drive, um, you will actually see that video um, here, right? So you can download it again. Um, I have already downloaded it. So I am going to drag it into the program, right? So here we go. Now we want to drag it into this window and this window is what keeps all of our content and we're going to drag it out on the timeline to take a look at it and this is basically asking of asking us if we want the application to adjust to the size of the video so we're going to say yes all right now we have our video track here and our audio track here on the audio track you can see the wave the audio waves here and the video track kind of gives you a, a quick preview I can zoom in and out by holding control and doing the mouse wheel I won't go into too much of this um, the use of the program because that you can find in the tutorial video right but okay so that's pretty much the video so we have the ability to um, to watch the video here now good post-production work is usually driven by good sound design and if we kind of analyze what we see here in our sound design we see some peaks and we see some valleys uh, look at this major one here right and what this is telling us is that the sound is very dynamic now when a sound is dynamic it brings up the perfect opportunity for you to highlight certain aspects of what you're trying to show in your video so if we listen to certain aspects of the video let's take the first introduction section let's listen to that part okay so that's kind of like a subtle intro right I notice how they're showing clips here that kind of shows a piece of the product. But listen to this part. So if you notice, there are some key points in this, um, in the audio, right? So notice that when the tone and the, the that voice that kind of subtle female voice comes in right with the light being illuminated so even though that, that section of the audio doesn't have like a very dramatic um effect with sound there are still some key points that um, that you could hear and that could be aligned to the video right so let's listen again <laughs> 
So if I zoom in here, right, and I'm not making out where those points are on the track here, but I can use my split tool to kind of mark where they are. So let me zoom out. Okay, here we go. That's the first one. That's the second one. That's the third one. Now, if we go back now and kind of look at these, at where we made these cuts. I notice how the video changes with it as well, right? So that that you we're starting to see the a bit of the psychology behind the sound design. Now also notice the types of clips that were used, right? Um, similarly, when we look at our presentation, right, um, we listed out all the clips that we have and we list them how we should show them in a particular order. But it's up to the post-production um, artists to decide how to emotionally evoke that order. So it's not just about a slideshow where you show this clip for 10 seconds and the next clip for 10 seconds. It becomes more of this kind of scenario where you show certain clips depending on the tone that you're getting with the audio. To this part. Now, this part is even more interesting. Now, we definitely see this point right here. Let's take a look at our waveform and let's look at that. Now, this is a significant point here, and if we hear what's happening with the audio at that point. So it's kind of like an explosion, right? But what you're seeing on screen is also kind of like an explosion, right? It's, it's, it's an explosion of color. So explosion was communicated in the sound effect and in what you see as a clip, right? And th those two together just work beautifully. But if we even peer deeper into the psychology of this, notice this shimmering sound and let's play that again listen for that shimmering sound all right now that shimmering sound when you watch the video it feels kind of like you're taking you're breathing in like you're breathing in to let out boom like an explosion right and the Look at the type of footage that they use for that section, right? So it's like the the screens, it shows you the screens and all of the screens just kind of got sucked in. And it's like it got sucked in and compressed to the point of explosions. If you kind of understand that conversation, right? So it's say, okay, look, I show you the screen, I show you the screen, and look, the screen has these layers, and that's um, a cool thing for the screen to have. But then those layers come together and then explode into color. So there is a visual conversation that is happening, but the sound is also matching the visual conversation and when you put them together you get now the other thing is that it's not a very big explosion it's kind of like a very subtle explosion but nevertheless because it happens with with the ex the colorful explosion it feels like something big so it's like 
when you look at the storyboard I've shown you some of the screen some of the screen I've shown you a little piece here a little piece there and then all of a sudden explode so it kind of uh, charge you up to show you what's happening uh, with the product right and that's a whole lot of psychology that's happening there both with the sound and with the product um, but this really starts from the post-production artist getting some clips to work with and working with the storyboard and with the clips the post-production artist further enhance enhances what the the pre-production artist wants to evoke with the with the with the storyboard now let's continue to look at the at the waveform here so we have another major point here so we just did that one but look at this one right and let's look at what happens when it reaches here now that was that one was pretty heavy actually that one was pretty heavy let's hear that again zoom in on that point so that's that point there we'll so that was a heavy transition but notice the three that comes after that we'll So let's let's actually mark those down and see what's happening, right? So if I kind of scroll down here, let's see. We'll be All right, so we know that that's one. That's another one. That's another one. If you look at these all of these are actually clips right and these clips were given to the post-production artist just as how you are you have collected clips from various uh, medium from various mediums right so but it's up to you now to use these clips in a particular way and if we listen to how the clips are used here and how it goes with the music now right before we close this off I just want to highlight this is perhaps one of the major differences in sound that you can see here right notice it kind of tapers down and then it goes boom back up again right now when you see these opportunities in your sound design it's great for highlighting that really selling feature because if you're listening to the audio you are taken on a journey with the audio and if you can match that with what you're showing then you have a really awesome story. So let's listen to what happens here. If you want a view paradise, simply look around and view it. Now, when you really take a step back and look, it's really just a series of cinematic shots. There is a... There is... they're really just a bunch of cinematic shots but those shots go according to the music 
and what you're showing on those shots the intensity of what you're showing goes according to the intensity of your audio right and essentially that is the main lesson that's the main takeaway that we want to take away from this practical it is using your sound to drive the visual that you're seeing right and that's why this advert was so um, successful um, they do have clips to show the product but how they told the product was based on the audio the journey of the audio that was being presented